my name's David Norris, and I'd like to be the next senator from the great state of New York. David Norris, when we meet him, he's a, uh, a congressman who's running for a Senate seat in New York. I'm going to go through Yonkers. I'm going to go door to door. I'll take the city that way. And David is the consummate guy's guy. He meets this very mysterious woman on the night of the biggest defeat that he's ever had in his career. Are you a registered New York voter? Do I sound like I am? <laughs> it's a very chance encounter. David! I gotta go. Sorry. How was that? I don't know. And he's basically in love with her after a five-minute conversation. The morning after the election, I woke up thinking about you. But there is this entity out there called the Adjustment Bureau. You bumped into a woman this morning on the bus. What, what does that have to do with anything? Your path through the world is supposed to have been adjusted. You weren't ever supposed to see her again. Oh. We are angels of fate. We basically make sure that everyone follows the path that they're supposed to be on to make sure that the overall result of their lives stay the same. This is your plan, and we're determined to keep it that way. He has to spill his coffee on his shirt by 7.05. And their job is to just kind of move around the world, and if somebody's kind of going off plan a little bit, they give them a little adjustment. Members of the Adjustment Bureau, they're a higher power. They're an expression of a higher power. Are you an angel? We're more like case officers. Let's race. Yeah. You challenged me in those shoes? The plan says that they're not supposed to be together. So I have to try and keep them apart. Your entire world is turned upside down, and you're thinking about a woman. But they just keep running into each other, rehashing this relationship that isn't supposed to be. Whatever happens, I'm not going to let anything come between us again. If you stay with her, it not only kills your dreams, but it kills hers. So he's kind of got a choice. Does he listen to the hand of fate? If you truly love her, just walk away. Or does he follow his heart and go after her? It's a movie about fate versus free will and what happens if you thumb your nose at fate. <laughs> I don't care what you put in my way, I'm not giving up. You know, you can be fated anything, but your free will is what you decide is best for you. Why won't they let me be with Elise? Because she's enough. If you have her, you won't need to fill that void inside of you with applause and votes. So they both have to make huge sacrifices to be with each other. It begs the question of how powerful is fate and when two people are really destined to be together, how much can you stop that? All I have are the choices I make, and I choose her. You root for these two people against all odds. Just remember, we tried to reason with you.